started boxing when I was around six years old with my dad. He would just like take me to the gym with him and I would just watch him and then he will do a little bit of pad work with me and work on the bag a bit and teach me like fundamentals of boxing. I started surf life saving in under sevens and that was because my parents always wanted me to be able to like hold my own in the ocean. That's why I started nippers and everything. I started surfing because I saw my dad surfing. There was like a definitely a lot of encouragement I felt from other surfers, but it took a while to get to where I am. I started doing boxing because seeing my dad do that, you start admiring and thinking that that's like your hero, like when you're a little kid. So like being at the gym, like he's fighting and seeing bleeding and stuff, it's like instead of being like worried about him, it made me more excited about it. I always wanted to do ski paddling. I wasn't strong enough, I wasn't old enough yet because the risk of injuring ourselves in the ocean and with like such a heavy craft. So I started kayaking for fitness and to get my balance and fell in love with the sport. I love surfing because it's just like when you're out there it's like the whole world just is gone pretty much like when you're on the wave you're not thinking about anything else but the moment and it's just so like it's insane it's just so peaceful even if you're having a pretty crap day you can just go out no matter what it's like you come back and it just feels so much better. The first time I went to train at the gym like competitively they kind of look down on you thinking that you're not tough enough to do it. I felt very small and weaker, but it definitely made me like a quick learner and a better fighter in general. That, oh, you're not gonna make it through, like you're only gonna last here for a week. And it feels really good. After three years, I'm like still here and they've gained a lot of respect for me. Now being in a class with them is more like, you know they're looking out for you and you know they're taking care of you. In the younger age groups, there's always more boys than girls. And I, as you got up to the older age groups, under 14s, under 17s, the numbers of girls would just drop off dramatically. Recently, some of the older athletes and Nutrigrain athletes have been doing all these workshops about women in sport to try and encourage more girls to continue and not stop at that like 13, 14 age mark. There's been a few times where little girls have run up to me. They always say, oh, I really want to surf. I say, you know, just, just do it. Like, what's holding you back? Like, get out there, grab a board, you know, grab your dad's board, your grandpa's board, or your mum's board. Yeah, something even from the side of the road, just get out there. You know, it takes time and struggle and energy and dedication, but, you know, you can do it. I feel like society portrays women in a way that doesn't project them doing stuff that like are known as dangerous, like scary or just anything related to like violence. The ocean's like so unpredictable, like you don't know what's about to happen. Like it could be like one of the most beautiful, peaceful days, you know, just you and some dolphins. And the next day it could just be like treacherous surf, like 12 foot bombs over your head. Like you never know really, but that's the beauty of it. Like every day is different. Now I find it really rewarding being up that early, getting to like see that sunrise, which not a lot of people get to experience on the water is really special. And it doesn't really get old, every sunrise is different, so it's quite nice.
what seems like forever And as you grasp me tight 